You take the assignment, then show me the assignment, okay? Later. Yes, sir. Uh, I uh, do not have time today to uh, see the assignment, maybe in the night or maybe any day after six uh, from today, okay? So let's hear the assignment carefully first, okay? Okay. So this is the assignment. I can share this to you. So there are two tables. So one table is called film. One object is called film. That will have these values: Barfi, Badi Ramasani, Ramlila, and Tamasha. Okay? okay. You cannot upload uh, create values manually. You have to upload it via a CSV file. Okay. Okay. So this table ha should have a field called name. And it should have a this table should have a actor count. This should come as a roll-up summary. For every film, I must be able to see how many actors are working in that film. Okay. So okay. on the record detail in Burfi, beside Burfi, I must be able to see how many actors are working this cannot be uploaded this needs to be auto calculated that means through a roll of summary okay yes, and sir. under burfi in a related list i must be able to see the names of the actors okay same thing Adirao should see show me the actors so all the value has been given here okay similarly the object uh, there is an actor object which has four actors and it also should have a roll-up summary which shows me which actor is working in how many films. For each actor, I must be able to see the name of the film in the related list. Yeah. Okay. Got 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 it. So you yes. have to create two objects. Yes, sir. What is yes, the I relationship do. between these two objects? One to one, one to many, or many to many? Many to many. So if it is many to many, Sorry, go ahead. Yes, sir. What is the relationship between these two objects? One to one, one to many, or many to many? Many to many. So if it is a many to many relationship, how many tables you have to create? How many objects you have to create? Three. So you need you need a mapping map object, right? Mapping object, right? Mapping object. Okay. And can you create roll-up summary? What kind of field do you have to create in the mapping object? What kind of relationship field you have to create to create a roll-up summary? Master detail, sir. Perfect. So how many master detail you have to create on the mapping object? Two. Two. Yeah. And on the parents, both the field, both the tables will have one roll-up summary each, right? Yes, yes sir. Film will have one roll-up summary, actor will have one roll-up summary. Yes. yes. And the related yes. list must show the films. Okay. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. So, so complete this assignment and all the values on this table must be uploaded via CSV, including the mapping object. Okay. Show me the mapping object also. There is a second part of the assignment which I will I will show it to you when you have completed it. Okay. You can yes, drop off all these all these three tables needs to be uploaded via CSV. I want to see your CSV files. Okay. So you want to see now? No, 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 no. no Onupam and Sushanto, you can drop off, complete the assignment, and come back to us. Okay, done, sir. Okay. So now let us see how this uh, this how how much time does it take for me to complete this? Okay. And should how much time can you charge your customer for this assignment? So my it, it is showing 9:35 in my in my watch. <clears throat> you can see the time here on the top, right? Yes. So let's be a little slow on my mouse so that I am a very fast person on mouse, but I will do it slowly so that you can see. So create custom object. Mm -hmm. the first object I need to create is the, the master sites, right? The parents. So first, maybe actor, and actors is a plural. Mm -hmm. It starts with a vowel sound, actor, so always stick this if, if it starts with a vowel sound. That means uh, when when Salesforce is creating any kind of messages for you, it will show an, an actor, right? Something of that sort, okay? 
Okay. Now the name field is actor name. I can I can like I can make this actor uh, auto number, or I can I can give uh, the actor's full name here, or I can convert this actor name to first name. Many of you have done this way, right? So I will keep uh, this actor name as uh, text, and I will try to uh, put full name in there. Actor, uh, I I will take full name here. Something on that side. I will do this way. Okay. Okay. There is no right or wrong. Everybody can do it. They are different ways. Okay. What is the benefit and what is not benefit? You will will see this later. So name field is already getting created when I create this, right? So in the field and relationship, I can see. Actor full name, oh, and nice. I need uh, the first name and last name to be uh, given because that is what I have shown it right there. Yes. So let's create a first name and last name. Two text fields. Yes. Yeah, two text fields. Convention. Let's use two fifty five characters. Do not know how long would be the first name. Please note that when you are using full name, that is eighty characters, right? Text field. So I am creating a custom field, right? I can make it required. Usually, convention is that in film actors, everybody will have a first name. If I do a save and new, I can start start creating another text field. Another text here. You can do it. Anything, any guys, if you are facing any problem, I will mark this as required. Uh, I, I will not mark anything required. Okay. I can also make a external ID if I want, but let's see if I without making external ID can I do it. So I have saved my file. My first object is created. It has a first name, it has a last name, and it has an actor's full name. That is yeah. a name field. This this is a mandatory field, right? It's a name. So you have to put this name here in any case. So let's do this. Okay. Now, let's create the second object. What is the second object? That is a film object. Yeah, film object. It's a film. So may, we'll let's make it film. There is it is does not start with vowel, so don't worry about it. Film name is a text field. I don't need a first name and last name, so film object is already ready. Right? Film only the name field of the film is all good for me. So this object is ready. Now it's a many to many relationship between actor and film. So now let's create the mapping object. Yeah. So actor film film. You can also name it as film actor, does not matter. This is a mapping object, usually not shown in you in, in any tables, so there is no need for it. Now I have the opportunity to change this data type or keep it this way. Many of you, if who told that I did not change this right text field? If you do not change this text field, then you have to put some value because this is a mandatory value. I don't want to put the value because I will make his auto number. I can also create pay. actor film should have actor film like this. Many of you have a hyphen. A hyphen should not be used because that is not not something which is this object name is right. Always go with the object name A F. So use it A F so that we understand this is actor film records. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it will be A F hyphen 0001. It starts from one. Okay. Mm -hmm. I can go 10 here, then it will start at 0, 0, 0, 10. 10. I don't want to do that. Let's have one. Now this ob object is there. Now I in actor and film both side, it is said that there would be a roll-up summary field that needs to be done. When you need roll-up summary to be created, you need to have master detail relationship, right? At the child side. This is the child for both the parents, right? So let's create the child mm -hmm. relationships. So I will go for master detail relationship. Yeah. First master detail relationship with his actor object. Relationship will always be created on child side, child right? Side, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's do next, next, next. First relationship done is created. Yeah. Okay. What is the next one? New relationship. Again, I master detail yeah. because both side will need roll up summary to be created, right? Mm. So now film.
Next, film. You say related list table. Okay, I will come to this later. Anyway, so this is the master detail relationship two has been created. So the good thing is that if I can jump into the actor field now, this is for people who do have not understood what is a roll up summary. Roll up summary rolls up does does a calculation on your child records. Child, what is what is the child here? Actor field. Actor, actor field. field is the child which is the <clears throat> right yeah so i will create now a roll up summary this is the roll up summary i can yeah. create roll up summary because i have a master detail child right what is the name film count see there are many which object i want to summarize actor film object this is the child object right Yes. So I, I can do many things in this relationship. I can do the number of records count only. That's it. I can do other calculations like summation, minimum, maximum. If I want to do any of these fields, then I need a field of my child object which on which I want to do this calculation. Okay. Right now, I don't have any field on my child object, which is a numeric field on which I can do this calculation. That is why it is grayed out. Isn't it? Yes, yes I understand. Yeah. If I want to filter out some of the child records, then I can use this one. I can like only this field, I can do a criteria and something of that. So let, let's keep it simple. Only counting. I need just a count of the number of films. I will do the same thing on film. film. Yeah. Sorry. No, roll up summary. Ah, sorry. Okay, here what is actor count? Actor count, yes. Guys, you are able to understand? I don't want to hear, I did not understand in the next class. If you are not asking questions, then yes, it's sir. your fault. Any, any problem until now? Not to learn, no problem, sir. No problem. So I have no. created roll up summaries and both sides. Now, if I go and try to create data, I need a tab. Right? Can I find actor right. here? No actor. Can I no. find a film object here? No. No film object. So I need to create a tab. Let's jump to tab. So here I have to create tabs. Parent side tab creation is, is good enough. You don't need a ch child side tab. So actor tab I have created. It is a default on. Keep it that way. I will We will discuss this in detail. What are these settings? Don't worry about it. Another tab I have to create for creating films, right? Yes. So films also I am creating. Two tabs I have created, good enough. Now I can create data. But I have said that we will not be creating data manually. OK? But before that, let's go and see if I am seeing everything properly or not. So first, let's so refresh it. I have it. a question. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, why did you mention that on child side, we don't need to create a tab? Because child objects, you can directly see on the parent itself. In the related list. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. So tab is not required. Okay. If you want to create independent child records, then you can create a tab for it. But we do not need it. Okay. I need to create films. I need to create actors. But the mapping I can create inside that itself, right? Yeah, so yeah. Okay. okay. Good question. Okay, so now. Uh, keep asking questions very important okay so now we have created two tabs let's see if i can uh, get the two tabs the exciting part is that i uh, want to work on only these two tabs so let's create an app also what is the app what is the app 
Nobody? This is the name of my app, Media Industry. What is the app? So it's somewhat similar to the application uh, that we use like in our mobiles and all. App is just a collection of tabs. Of tabs. That's it. So which tabs I will use here? Yeah. Actor and film. Right? I create my own tab. But I have only two tabs. I am happy with this two. I have created an app. Now let's see. Let's use this app. What is the benefit in the app launcher? Now I can see media. Media industry. Did I add this? Just hold on. Sorry, I uh, I did not add any profile to it. So I am not able to see this. Uh, we will discuss this why we are not able to see this. I am going back to my yeah, uh, So I will just check which uh, I have to give system admin the profile. I want system administrator to use this app, right? So now let's go back. Now go to the app launcher, media media industry app is now here. So now I can see I have actors and films here. Okay. Right? Yeah, I got it. Now. I have actor tab and a film tab. I can load data now. So start loading the data. Okay. So how I, I, will, I, will I will try to question. Yeah, go ahead. Can I create a tab when I'm creating a, a, a custom object? You can or cannot, you, 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 there is not mandatory, but if you want to have user click on new, if you want this screen, right, then you have to create a tab. Okay. Without this tab, you cannot do the operations on the table. What are the basic operations on the table? Read, write, edit, and delete. Now, what is write? Edit. Read, edit. 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 Delete and what else? And update. Create. Create. create yes. So this is create operation, yes. right? When I have a create operation, then I have a record. I can update it. I can delete it, right? Yes. And I can see the record inside. That's a read operation. So crowd operation or create operations, yes. right? Create operations I cannot do without this tab, right? On a table, yes. you can do. Or without a tab, if it is a child object, then from the parent related list, you can do it. Okay. That is exactly what we are going to see this. So actor full name, as I said, I will not do a new from here. I have to import data. So let's see how do I need to create the Excel sheet. So this is the blank work base. I have gone to Excel. What field do I need? Name. Sorry, this is the actor right act a full name maybe first name last name all the information that is that is what i have right let, let me copy from here what is this first name last name i will copy and i will paste here done Mm -hmm. And I will do a uh, equal to concat. Sorry, I will do equal to here. Concat. This one, comma, this one. See, I can put a, com uh, a, a space between this also. I will do a space. Rabir ho gaya hai. Ranbir. Automatic change ho raha hai. Okay? If you don't know how to use formula fields, don't, eh, sorry, formula in Excel, don't worry. You just copy paste here. Okay? So okay. create this field. And I, I can copy this formula in this year. I'm showing you everything. So you should know this. So I can copy now and paste it in full name. When, when I paste, I have to paste special, that is values. Okay. Otherwise, so... it will paste the formulas again. Oh. 
Okay. Okay. So now I can delete this. I don't need this. So first time, last time, this three. Uh, good enough. I, I don't need any other values, right? So this is my actor table. Actor. You are saying that I cannot convert to CSVs. Only file format needs to be comma delimited. That's it. Yeah. Any questions? No, Shreya, sir. you are saying that how do I convert to CSV? Yes, yes sir. I... Easiest thing in life. Okay. Yes, so this sir, is I'm saving in desktop. I forget where I save things. So please help me remember if I forget again. This is done. I will now go and create a new file. Another file. Now I am loading film, right? What yes. I need. I will go to my assignment sheet. This time I will jump to film. I will copy from here. Paste it on my Excel sheet. And go and save as. And I change this to CSV. That's it. Oh, yeah. Come. Third file is the mapping file, right? Yes. So now this is interesting. How will I do that? Yeah. I can I can upload the whole file, both files. Then I can generate the Salesforce IDs. I can put the IDs again in the mapping file. I can do that. But Salesforce in import wizard gives us opportunity to do the mapping using names. So let's see this names. So I will go now to create a new file. Again, a new file, right? This time, I have to load the film name and actor name. This is the mapping file, right? So let's paste the number of films which I already had. So let's see the assignment once again. So in Barfi, Ranbin and Priyanka are there. So I need two entries of Burfi. So let's yes. copy and paste. Oops, sorry. Copy and insert. So Burfi 2. Mm -hmm. So I can go to this one and I can copy Ranbir Singh. And paste it in by actor name. Again, I can go back to Ranbir Singh. Oh, sorry, Priyanka Chopra. Priyanka Chopra, yeah. I can go and paste it here. So first film mapping, done. Let's go back to Bajurai Mastani, see the assignment. In Bajurai, we have Ranbir Singh, Priyanka, and Devika. Yeah. So let's go back yeah. to why our Ranbir Singh. How many entries will be needed for mapping? Three. Three entries. Copy. Insert copy cell again. Copy insert copy cell. Okay, Priyanka Chopra was there, so let's paste her there. There are two other actors, let's bring them Divika. and Ranbir. I can copy from here and I can paste it here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any questions so far? No, let's see that. Fourth film, Ram Leela has two actors. How many records needs to be created? Two. Good. So let's. Ram Leela needs two records. Copy, insert, copy cell. Who are the actors? Ranveer, I think I already have Ranveer Singh, mm -hmm. and Deepika Padukone I also have. Masha also needs two entries. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. This has Ranbir Singh. And, and so I forgot what was the other actor. Yeah. Tamasha Deepika. Deepika, yeah. So I will copy paste Deepika Padukan and I will say. So this is the mapping, right? Mm -hmm. One film. This Barfi is now a map to Ranbir Singh. So my many to many relationship we are seeing on, on screen right now. Anna? One film is mapped to multiple actors. One actor is mapped to multiple films. One missing here, one missing here, two, two, two films. So many, one to many from both sides makes it many to many relationship. Mm -hmm. Any questions so far? Guys, very important to understand this. No, now, now I clear. 
so here is the third or table actor film film usually this needs to be done using salesforce ids or external ids but you can use name fields if the name is unique otherwise you cannot do this way then you have to use external ids which we have showed in third class now let's see this import i go to my actor new sorry not new import import this opens up the same data import wizard i am on the custom object add new records and i can drag and drop or i can choose the file here desktop actor actor csv next this is the important part full name is not mapped so probably i have to map it so this is the field actor full name yes so this is not able to automatically map it because the name is exact not exactly mapping you see csv the field is in telfos is full name but in my excel sheet i have used actor full name actor so that's why it was not able to map but it was able to map successfully first name last name because it was an exact match okay yes so if you are seeing a mapping button here then that has to be mapped so now all the things have been mapped next start importing i have this opened up already let's go back and see that media industry so i have the actors already all actors i have already loaded all actors i can go and uh, add add uh, select fields to display i can add the first name here i can add the last name here mm -hmm. i can add the film count yeah right film count will be needed zero yes. because there is no mapping done still now yes. anna any questions guys still now no it's good no sir till now no okay now let's load the films film yeah film has only one field no no problem at all yeah i go to film add record csv choose file this is a film csv next already film uh, has been made map already moved yeah somehow it got it start import okay let's go back to media industry see yeah, i am jumping between setup and the so let's see all films has been loaded now let's change the view to select fields to display actor count was needed nothing else right it is showing zero because mapping has not been done done yet here right so if i go to the actor i select any actor i cannot see in the related list any value mm -hmm. this is the child and this child object is for everybody right films also has same child if i go to barfi i should be able to see but nothing is there so let's mm -hmm. load the third file yeah actor film now i do not have a tab to import right mm -hmm. so i have to go to now setup let's go to import wizard i have deliberately not created a so i have to now open the data import wizard for the third object because i don't have a import button yeah tab is not there yeah so custom field actor film this time mm -hmm. add records this time i am creating relationship it the excel sheet should have a salesforce id right instead of salesforce id i am providing actor name and film name this has to be unique otherwise this will not work okay okay so choose file actor film same way i am mapping it see both are not mapped so i have to map it so this is the what is film right so film i have selected map this is actor map so csv the object is film and actor okay mm -hmm. clear so next start import 
imported. So let's go and refresh our screen. Let's see after import, we are seeing all the actors and details or not. So let's see. Now the film count has automatically changed because mapping has been done. Yes. Right. I am seeing the values also showing up here. So now the last part of the modification. I want to see in films the actor actor names. Is it showing up? No, it is showing something like this. So I have to do some modifications. So let's do this modification. Let's go to the film object. This is the page layout. It is a film page layout. Right? What mm -hmm. is the this is the actor film related list, right? Yeah. This is the range button, which allows me to make modifications, right? So instead of actor film, I don't need this. I can I can go and uh, and uh, select the actor full name. Yes. What is what is the actor full name? Yeah, this one. Or I can individually get the first name and last name. First name, last name. Any questions so far? No. Actor first name, last name. So let's see. I will save this one. Same thing I will do for actor. Actor also, yeah. Let's I th I think actor does not need need this change. So let's see. First, let's refresh this one. So in the related list, Bajirat Masani actor count is three. Related list. Now I can see Priyanka, Deepika. All these three people. Right? In the actors, if I go to Deepika Padukan, if I go to the related list, already see this is this needs change also i am not able to see the film name isn't it so mm -hmm. now i yeah. am back to film sorry film also needs the change so i will go to the film sorry yeah film page layout go to page layout this is the actor film i want to change this sorry film i yeah. already sorry. yeah you should go ahead to Page layout, actor page layout, because child object is basically the mapping object, right? It is not showing film's data. So now I have to remove act, actor film name. This is not needed. So I will now go and uh, film film name. Yeah. Because that's it. And I save it. If I do that, now if in Dupika Padugan, if I go and refresh it in the related list, I can see which film she is working on yes any questions guys how much no. time did it take only half an hour you can charge customer only half an hour for this kind of assignment which you are taking one week even then you are not able to finish it any questions Roll up summary is clear to you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, not clear. Okay. So now we'll we'll jump into uh, a thing called formula field. Okay. So what is a formula field? Roll up summary is kind of a formula field, which is basically calculating. And uh, uh, let's let's uh, let's see a roll up summary how this can be a little different. So we will change this assignment later. And I will update this assignment later. And I will give, give, give this as a home task. I will keep on updating this assignment. But right now, I am not going to help you out on this assignment at all. So what I will create right now is a new, which one did I use? Gadget team. Okay. In account, 
I will create a new child here again back. What is the name of the child? Child is probably application. Application object is there. What it is the master title with account, right? So now here on this application, I will create a number uh, a currency field. And I will say registration amount. Length can shorten up. If you shorten anything, you have to put in behind decimal places. Okay. Save. So now I have created on the application object a registration amount field, which is a currency field of 16, uh, 16 digit, 0 0.2 digit. Okay. So now I will go back to my account. And here, since it is a child object has a roll up, I will create a roll up summary. This time I am not doing a, I am saying application, sorry. Total application amount. What does it do? I will do a summation. Which object? Application object. I will do a sum of which field? Registration amount. There was an amount field already. Sorry. Unnecessary. Made it made to amount fields. Okay. Roll up summary we did in class, right? Why will I have amount field there? Anyway, so I have created it. So now if I go to account, um, any accounts, what, let's go to bong bong account. In the details, what is the registration amount? Total application amount is zero point dollar. Now let's create child objects, which is applications. Let's create some applications. What is the application? Uh, maybe registration amount of hundred dollars. Whenever I create child application, if I go to account, it will start rolling up. You see, hundred dollars comes here. If I create the next application, our registration number two hundred, how much will show in the in in application in bong bong? 300 yes so now i go and create the third one how much will show 600 so if i am going to the details now my registration amount is 100 plus 200 plus 300 that is 600 right so roll up is basically rolling up a field, a child field into my parent. Right? Now that is that is a child to, uh, what is that? Uh, child to parent uh, rolling up. What, now I want to do a little ulta. I want to go to application object now. Here, I want to understand what is the difference or what is the uh, other, other registrations that has happened, the registration amount has happened apart from this registration. So what is the balance amount? Let's see for individual records. How can I see this? So I need a formula field now. I am creating this on the child side, right? Application side. Here, I am saying difference. And what is the difference? Difference is a currency amount. Again, data type I have to select. I can select any type of data which I want to display. So display is just I, am, I want to do a difference. That's it. So 
okay now i i can add some fields here one is what field i need i need in the advanced formula i need to insert a field of account what is the total registration account total application amount i insert it now let's see what happens here you can hand type it also or you can just use this insert field also whatever so underscore underscore r means the relationship okay dot means from this object so uh, account underscore underscore r dot that means use a field from the relationship of account and that is total application account that is a you do not need to put this or the fields of this object you are creating this on which object application object if you are using any field <laughs> inside formula field of this object you don't have to specify anything else you just insert the field so in the application i have the registration amount right i insert it it only shows me registration amount but if you want to insert a field from your parent then it will be underscore underscore r dot any question so far so i am using from the parent one field minus i want to do the registration amount and i want to do next now let's see what happens <laughs> So I have gone to Bong Bong. Total amount which is displaying is from the child's all amount put together 600. Now in the related list, I will go and view all the child. I can add sorry, I can individually go to these objects, view all 300. This is the registration amount. Did I add that field here? Yes. So now you see difference field. It does not have a have a uh, icon because this is the read only field. It is just calculated upon save. So you see, my total registration for this was three hundred. Total amount in my parent was six hundred. So six hundred minus three hundred, it is showing automatically three hundred. Same. If I go to eight hundred. This has 200, the difference is 400. Similarly, if I go to 7, 100, 600 minus 100, 500. Any questions so far? What I will happen if I create another application with 400 amount? Why it is showing 600? So 1000 minus 400. Perfect. Why 1000? Because uh, already the total ration amount was 600 and you yes. added another 400. Absolutely. So 1000 minus 400. Absolutely right. So the if you go to Bong Bong again now, it will show it has been updated to 1000. Mm -hmm. And the related list now has the applications so now if you go to nine you will see registration amount is it will refresh once again 1000 minus 300 updated already yes this one see 800 this one 900 this one is this one right so this is calculating automatically based on so two fields are getting automatically calculated. You see, on the parent, the roll-up summary is automatically calculating, updating itself. And in the child record, it is deducting the parent record minus the child. Each record has its own deductions, and then it is giving you the difference. So you see so much calculations you can do on the fly. So formula field is a very powerful tool. You can do n number of mathematical calculations through it. You It will be calculated on the fly. So if you have any calculations that you need to show to customers, 
on individual records, then you can use formula fields. Very powerful tool. So we will update the assignment at the last, but we'll see some more interesting stuff today. The next part which we will cover today is validation rule. What is a validation rule? Standard fields, custom fields. There are three ways in you in which you can make a field mandatory. One is using field type required. You can make a field required. You can make a field required in page layout. And you can make a field required using validation rule also. Standard field does not allow you to change the field type and make it required. So for any standard field, if you want to make it required, either you have to use page layout or you have to use validation rule. For custom field, you can use field type to make a field required. You can use page layout also. You can use validation rule also. Any questions? No. Okay. So when to use what? That is a good question, right? If it's a custom field and you want to make it required for all users, then this is a easy way of doing it. When you make a field type required, it will affect page layouts plus any kind of input, data inputs. When you are having validation rule, it will affect page layout and inputs. Page layout, if you make a page layout mandatory, it will only affect page layout. Data inputs will not be affected. That means that field is not required when you are doing a data input. Clear? So if you want to make sure that people are loading value properly, even when they are doing a data import, then you have to use either field type or validation rule. If you want to make it conditional, that some, some people may, may, may need to uh, uh, like put some values and some people do not need to put the values. And it needs to depend on the which page layout is getting used. In that case, you can use page layout. Usually, we do not use page layout because that creates a problem. Page layout is whoever is page layout specific. That means it will only be affecting on Salesforce screens. That's it. When I'm doing a data import, it will not be asking me to load the value. It is not making it mandatory. So usually, if you will be using validation rule for standard fields if if you want to affect all users and in custom field you will probably go to field type this is the main choice you will be using okay let, this is for mandatory so let's see how that works so i am in the application field I want to make registration amount required. What I have to do? I will just go and uh, edit. And I will go and make it required. That's it. When I do that, immediately, if you go to Uh, applications or maybe accounts under accounts it takes a while for 
you to show up in the screen. So let's see. You see, registration amount now has a red star. You cannot save this without putting the value. Right? And this will affect all page layouts. So it will automatically become uh, mandatory for everybody, everybody. Even in data inputting, it will also show as a, this is a required amount. So validation do, rule is not getting used, like, utilized here for custom fields, right? But can I do this using validation rule? For standard fields, probably I have to use it. Let's see the other techniques of doing it. So I will go back. I will go back and I will, on this application object, I will probably go and uh, fill out. I will take out the required field again back, edit. I will take it. Okay, save. Now, Let's see the other way of making it mandatory. If I go to the layout, I have the registration amount. Here, I can go and make it required. If I do that, it will work. Uh, it will be the same way. But it, this does not affect the data import. So when you are doing a data import on application, it is not mandatory. You can you can bypass the value. Okay. But if you have multiple layout and you are not changing the other layouts, then the users who have that layout assigned, even there for them, it is not mandatory. Any questions? Okay, layouts can be given to multiple users. We'll see this in detail when we are going through uh, profiles and permissions of users, okay? That will cover in later period. But just understand that layouts are screens and the screens can be multiple. You can give in different screens to different users. Okay? okay. Now, what is the third way? I can take it, take it, take this out. And so you see, let's start is gone. Here, there is a validation rule. I want to now create a validation rule, which is saying registration mandatory register which field you want to check registration yeah. this is the condition which needs to be blocked okay what is the blocker equal to maybe quotation quotation that means blank mm -hmm. what is the message registration amount blank cannot be blank cannot be blank yeah. so this condition is the condition which i don't want to allow please remember this Anything outside this condition is allowed automatically. I can show this message on top of the screen or I can show it right on that of field itself. Let's save it. What is that? It is a number field, so probably zero. Okay, it's a text field only equal to quotation quotation would have worked. Okay. So now let's see this. I refresh the screen. I go to bong bong again. It is still showing mandatory field. It is it takes a while for for it to affect. So please keep sharing. Achha. Registration amount red star is gone now, right? Because on the field level, I did not give but let me save it. Okay. What is that? Hold on. This is the application. Mandatory registration. Hold on. I think 
think it's a numeric field that's why it is not taking so blank value is blank is there is a is blank field okay. is blank okay let's use this one let's see if this works refresh Go to bong bong. New. Blocked. Okay. This is the validation rule firing it. I can use validation rule to make a field mandatory. But usually for custom field, I will not use it. I will make the field type mandatory. This technique you will probably use for standard fields. Okay. So apart from this, I can also have other checks which I can do in validation rule. So for now, let's cancel it. Let's say that I need this registration amount to be only between 500 to 1000, not less than that, not greater than that. The registration amount people can enter is only from 500 to 1000. Are you getting the requirement? So how will I make sure that I do that? So there are two conditions. One is registration amount, amount less than 500. Another, another is registration amount greater than 1000. This I want to block, right? These two conditions I want to block, right? When you have two conditions, you have to join these conditions using an operator. This operator is called AND or OR. What is the okay. AND operator? AND operator means all the conditions needs to be fulfilled. That means all needs to be true. Then only the total. The, the whole condition is true. Individual conditions all needs to be true. Then only the whole conditions will be true. So and means all. Or means any. Any of the conditions, if it is true, then the whole statement is true. In order this blocker to run, the statement has to be true. right? Then only this error message will show up. So th there are two conditions. One is 500 lesser than and lesser than uh, 500 needs to be true, or registration amount uh, of, uh, registration than amount than 5, 1000 needs to be true. So what yeah. needs to be uh, what is what is the joining statement can be, or or and? What do you think? And and. And and means every condition needs to be true. Then only this statement will be true. Yeah. Right? Yes. So when I enter an amount, can it be less than 500 and greater than 1000 both at the same time? No. Then how these both conditions can be true at the same time? So it should be or. Why or? Think about there are two statements I gave it all or any. What is applicable for here? Or or any? There is all or any. All conditions should be true or any condition should be true here in this situation. Think carefully. There is only one value that is getting passed into this condition. When user is entering a value, there is only one value he is sending. To fire this blocker, should all the conditions be true or any of the conditions be true? And I will fire the blocker. Sir, any. Any. Any, any conditions, if it falls into that 
bucket i should for this blocker isn't it yes and a, what is any any means which operator and or 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 operator so i can go and and do a uh, or operator here double pipe you can type also through hand this is this is the easy way if there are two condition usually we will use this one otherwise what you do is that you can also use a or function here there is an or function oh. if you are using or function then you have to cut and paste it all the conditions inside it is the oh. same thing what okay so, there are two conditions here so for readability i usually because there is no there is no problem with spaces so usually i do like this 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 becomes a little more easier to read now it is very easy for you to understand right yeah yeah so any of these conditions if users enters a value which gets into any of this condition i will fire my blocker user let me test the data if i am entering 400 this condition is true that means blocker will fire if in user is entering 1200 this condition is true true this blocker will fire any of this condition gets true the blocker will fire let's save it so now blank is no longer relevant now let's give a 400 Yeah. This is showing the old message. I forgot to change the old message. What should be the new message? HTML should be between between five hundred yeah, sorry five hundred and one thousand. One thousand. Right? Yeah. Refresh. Reload. Registration amount 400. Registration amount should be between 500 and 1000. 1200. Same, same error. Same error. Yes. 600. Saved. Same, yeah. Sir, I had a question. Hello. Sir, Judy, I am a chai on 500 below me. Corbo, I chai uh, amount is lower than 500. The whole message is separate, separate message. Above 1000 hole or below 500 hole. Is it a separate validation group? A separate validation group? Yes. Acting the message in the Hanojaga. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. You have only one message. If you want to show multiple messages for multiple conditions, you have to write separate validation rules. Very good question. Yeah, multiple validation. Yeah. Okay, sir. Can I write this? Using and before moving into this direction, there is a important part which you need to learn on gates uh, or what is that logic logic operator. This would be last attempt, and then we'll update the uh, update the assignment. Okay, just hold on. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Oh, sorry. That's for my kid. OK. So there is an important gate operator you need to understand, which is called NOT operator. NOT will reverse any condition inside it. OK. So if this condition is evaluating to true, then NOT will make this a false. False. Reverse it. If it is false, then it will make it true. Not is a function. Not is an operator. I will show this not operator. Now, in not operator, the fun is if there is a condition 1 or condition 2, 
this is equal to writing not of condition 1 and not of condition 2. Similarly, not of condition 1 and sorry and condition 2 is equal to not of condition 1 or not of condition 2. So, if you are using a reverse of the whole con join of a two condition, for individual it, it has to be reverse. See, or becomes and 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 becomes or. Funny, right? So going by this logic, or can be converted to to end, right? But where is the not operator? Let's let's introduce some fun here. So we have we have, we have gone back to our hands on this one. Here or condition is there. Can I write a not condition? Yes. Not. If I use a not here, then it will reverse this out inside it, right? Okay. Inside condition needs to be reversed. Then only this not will work, right? I have to reverse it. What is greater than equal to and less than equal to? Is it the same? Let's test some data. 400. User has entered 400. 400 is greater than or equal to 500. False. This is true. And it will fire. Yes. 1200. 1200 greater than or equal to 500. That means it is true. This is false. Second, it is less than or equal to 1000. False. This becomes true. Again, true. this will fire. So let's save it and test it. Logic is very important, guys. 400, adding it. 1200, I'm getting fired. 700. Saved. You saw how a AND operator, a NOT operator can be introduced. So you have to reverse the inside condition. Why did I use this equal to? That means greater than or equal to 500. Okay. Now, what was our fun? We said if, if individual conditions has not and those are joined by or so it will be easier for you to read like this 
So these are two conditions. And let's have or in between it, right? This was having or in between it. So now those conditions, if there is a not outside, individual conditions can, this operator can be reverse, isn't it? That is what we said. So if I remove this bracket, if I remove this, uh, sorry, if I remove this not, then I have a whole condition like this. And then not outside. And I have to reverse this, right? Let's test it once again. Save. What is happening here? Not. So I will reverse the condition inside it. Four hundred. Four hundred greater than five hundred false. Then the whole statement is false. So it is true. Twelve hundred. 1200 this is this is true this is false then the whole statement is false this is true Anna? let's go and test it blocked blocked fast working as designed right so same requirement, I have shown you three ways of writing the same requirement. We different add logic operators. Sometimes you will get from customer the requirements which needs to be passed. And sometimes customer will give, give you requirements which needs to be blocked. If you are getting a blocker requirement, then use just put those conditions and put an or between them then everything is blocked right if you are getting the data which needs to be passed in that case you put a not requirement not outside it and put a put 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 those and inside it all the conditions and and then by outside put a not that's it that's how easily you can translate your requirements into into these conditions so validation rules clear to you guys now we will update the assignment individual actors will have a new field called salary first tell me a actor can have a remuneration which is which is, is, is the actor's remuneration fixed or fixed for every film or is it variable for every different film? What do you think? Variable. Variable. Every film, the actors get paid differently, right? Yes. Yes, sir. So if a actor is getting paid differently in different films, which object will you store the actor's salary? Think about it. This actor, Ran Ranbir Singh, is getting 10 crore for Burfi and uh, 20 crore for Amasha. Okay. Bajirao Mastani is getting. 30 crore for Bajirao and 20 crore for Ramlila. I believe in gen gender equality. So 
let's see uh, deepika is getting 20 crore each for all the films m and priyanka is getting uh similar to ranveer kapoor okay so ranveer singh will get these salaries so create a new field called salary i will let you decide in which table will you create that salary film should so total actors total actor salary this should be auto calculated based on how many actors salary is showing up so ranveer how much is getting for barfi ranveer and ranveer is getting 10 crore and priyanka is getting 10 crore so so film should show 20 crore here okay right okay barfi is 10 crore bajira will have 20 crore 30 crore and 20 crore so 70 crore right this will have 70 crore Ramlila will have 20 crore, 20 crore, 40 crore. But this should be auto calculated. You should not be entering any value. And Tamasha, right? Uh, the last film, Tamasha, 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 this one. 20 crore and 20 crore, 40 crore. This should be, this is the new field. This, this field should be there in which film in the film you create a new uh new uh, new table okay total actor salary should should be calculating on the film and it will show how much all the actors are getting paid and uh, there is another total you should have in your uh this is this value will be loaded up by you production budget total now production budget production budget it is 50 crore this value needs to be loaded by you okay 100 crore these values needs to be loaded by you so i need a update script or update csv which you will be using and there would be technicians budget which should be calculated automatically that should show up a difference between 50 crore this value minus this value okay total total budget minus the actors budget
this should be auto calculated again okay so i i am marking this as blue so that you can understand this value has to be calculated this cannot be loaded okay any questions so far guys sir i had a question apart from this so bolchilam je tabs golo ami suppose switch korte jai within apps er moddhe ek tabs amar tab loi same tab golo ami onno tab nite chai ha to sei jabe jabe add korbe okhon ta add kore dobe add kore jabe to hm oina okay sir okay sir thik ache you can edit that app and you can add your tabs okay sir okay i will i will like everybody to create a new app called media industry and add add these tabs there okay actor film tab is not needed so delete that so this should be my information i want to see on each film i will put a production budget these are the production budgets of the film and i should automatically see what is the total actor salary what and what is the budget technical budget left so deducting the actor salary from the production budget it should automatically give me uh, show me what is my technical budget left clear guys and let's have another 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 field for marketing budget marketing budget needs to be 10% of production budget so it should be automatically showing me 10% of production budget again auto calculate this sorry clear 10% of 15 crore is that fit total 50 crore 10% 50 crore and this is 10% of 200 crore there are this is 10% of automatically calculate korte hobe theek hai you should not enter these values 100 crore and in the actor salary i need you to when you are entering the salary there should be a validation rule to make sure that you should not enter anything less than 10 crore and anything more than 50 crore then crore to 50 crore should be the packet in which this salary should be entered okay make sure that this is the range i should not be able, able to enter 50 rupees okay guys all clear ko to bolen clear sir kobe dekhabe show me in the next before next class okay or show me in the next class enough time okay sir please sir sir one request kindly share this video in group yeah 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 i will 